Okay, so here we go. This is um, the setup for lab number two in the um, EES uh, 1011 class. Okay, so what we have here are a multimeter, a breadboard, a series of wires, and a parts bin. We are going to connect up the, uh, the whole thing to a power supply that is not shown in the video here. Okay, so what are we doing? The first thing that we want to do is uh, find a resistor and an LED uh, that will be mounted inside of or onto the breadboard. The f uh, let me see, the first thing we will do is try and find a good resistor. Okay, so for the lab we want to get a 10 kilo ohm or 10k resistor. So we open up the box. These are the resistors right here. We're going to take out these resistors. I'm going to see if they are equal to 10 kilo ohms. So I'm going to set my multimeter to ohms like that. I'm then going to take this pack of resistors and I'm going to measure one of them. So I take my red and black leads of my multimeter. I hold one end to one side of one resistor and one end of the red one to the other resistor like that. And I take a look on the multimeter and the multimeter reads 0.978 kilo ohms so that looks like a 10 kilo ohm resistor but just to make sure let's take a look at some of the other resistors here's another resistor set right here I'm going to measure one of these resistors right there so clip with my hand clip with my hand right there like that I'm now holding on to either end of the resistor and if you look at the multimeter it says 0 0.59 0 0.61 mega ohms so that's not a 10 kilo ohm resistor and just to verify that nothing is happening with respect to this little piece of paper that's attached to the resistor let's take the resistor all by itself you can see it all by itself attached to one in there into one end there with my fingers and my thumbs and take a look at the multimeter it says about 0.6 mega ohms okay so that's not the right resistor let's go back to these resistors here we're going to pull one out we're going to double check that's the resistor right there hold it like that pinch it like that. We take a look at the multimeter. The multimeter is reading 0 0.97, 0 0.98 kilo ohms. This is a 10 kilo ohm resistor. Okay. Now what we do is we're going to attach this resistor to the breadboard. Okay. So I'm going to take my resistor like this. I'm going to attach it along column um, 55. I'm going to put it, um, let me see, we're going to put it from 55 to 50. Okay. So I'm going to attach it takes a little bit of practice. I pushed it in. You see now now connected up between columns 50 and 55. Okay. Now I'm going to find an LED. Let's choose one of these uh, see-through white transparent ones like that. Now th the thing to watch for is that there is a flat edge bit difficult to see. The 
flat edge is right there. Okay, that's the flat edge right there. The flat edge represents the cathode, and that is the end of the um, LED that we want to be pointing towards the most negative part of the circuit. So I'm going to take my LED right here. I'm going to plug it in between um, columns 45 and 50 with the cathode touching column 45 and the anode touching column 50. Come on. So like that. So I've connected it to column 45, 50, the LED and the resistor are common on 50, and then 55 right there. Now I'm taking a wire from the wire bin right here. It's a green wire right here. Take a nice long wire and I'm going to connect the green one to my black terminal. You can see this turns right here. If I turn uh, in the counterclockwise direction it spins up revealing a hole right there. I'm going to put my wire into the hole right there and then I'm going to spin this down to lock it in place. on it, it's nice and tight. I'm going to then connect the other end of this green to column 45, like that. So from there to there. Next I'm going to grab a red wire, right there. And I have a red wire and I'm going to connect the red wire to 55 like that and then I'm going to spin open the hole there you go. there's the hole right there And from the other side, I'm going to stick that in like that. I spin that down. There we go. We are now ready to plug in power into this. So I'm going to plug in always ground it first so take the black lead that's connected to negative power or ground plug that in right there I'm going to take the other end of this so this is a red banana a red banana cable I'm going to connect that to the red terminal right there like that oh it didn't turn on why is that because the power supply isn't on Okay, so I'm now going to turn the power supply on. One, two, three. Now, you might not see light immediately. What you need to do is bend the LED so that the top of the LED is pointing upwards because it has a lens on it. Okay, there you go. You can see. So the LED is on. Fantastic. Now, what happens if I disconnect, um, say, the red? So I'm going to take the red lead right here and I'm going to make an open circuit by removing it, by disconnecting it. Oh, it turned off. I close the circuit again. 
by putting the red in there, it turns on. I unplug the red here, it turns off. I plug the red back in, and it turns back on. If I remove the resistor, it turns off. I plug that resistor back in again, it turns on. Now, let's measure voltage. Okay. So, I'm going to set this to voltage DC. When I measure at this plug here and that plug there, I get a voltage of about 5 volts. If I measure the voltage across this resistor right here, I get 2.3. Let's get a closer look at that. So I'm measuring the voltage from this point here to that point right there. I'm measuring the voltage across the resistor and I get a voltage of 2.32 volts. Now, if I want to measure the current, it's a little bit trickier. Um, I can do that as follows. I set this to read milliamps and then I'm going to break open the circuit so the way to do that is to disconnect the resistor here I'm going to plug it in there and to disconnect the LED and I'm going to plug it in there so now, that end of the resistor is in column 52, that end of the LED is in column 48. There is no connection between these two. I'm now going to take my multimeter which is set to, to current mode and I'm going to bridge the gap I'm going to switch hands here I connect it there I connect it there. Now I've created a circuit through my multimeter in current mode. The LED turns on again. Whoops, I'm going to lower it so you can see the multimeter. Just a moment. Like that. And it looks like there is I hold this straight, 5.3 milliamps of current running through the circuit right now. I disconnect, the circuit's open again, and there we have it. I've been able to measure both voltage